Pop quiz. You've got five seconds. No Googling. Which DNA base is adenine's perfect partner? Time's up. If you answered thymine, give yourself a gold star. Stick around to see why that answer is always true. Let's find out how tiny hydrogen bonds glue the helix together and how the same rules let cells copy billions of bases in minutes. First, the basics. DNA is a twisted ladder called a double helix. Its rungs are paired nucleotides, reading like a four-letter alphabet. Each nucleotide has a sugar phosphate backbone and one of four nitrogenous bases, A, T, C, or G, sticking toward the center. Meet the cast. Adenine and guanine are two ring purines, while cytosine and thymine are one ring pyrimidines. Remember, pure as gold and cut the pie. Because a purine is wider than a pyrimidine, one of each must pair. Think big shoe meets small shoe on every rung, keeping the DNA ladder evenly spaced. Chemical shape decides the partners. Adenine forms exactly two hydrogen bonds and joins only with thymine. Meanwhile, cytosine forms three and locks perfectly to guanine. Those hydrogen bonds act like molecular Velcro, strong together, yet easy to peel apart for replication and transcription. We've met the bases, matched the pairs, and seen how hydrogen bonds hold the helix just right. Want to turn those milestones into mastery? Tap the link to access the practice test, flashcards, and study guide, then jump right back into the video. Lock in what you learned and keep going. All right? Rules locked in. Now, see them in motion, inside a living cell. Watch the helix unwind. Helicase splits the strands while DNA polymerase reads one base and snaps in its complement. C for G, T for A, and so on. The fidelity is astounding. Fewer than one mistake per billion bases, thanks to complementary rules and proofreading enzymes. Complementary pairing also powers PCR, CRISPR editing, and forensic DNA fingerprinting that can solve decades-old crimes. Now, here's the catch. RNA uses the same logic, but uracil replaces thymine, so adenine still finds its match. See the choreography? A hugs T, C spins with G. Break, reform, repeat. The DNA code remains consistent, even as cells divide, differentiate, and adapt. To recap, A pairs with T, C with G. Purines meet pyrimidines. Two versus three hydrogen bonds keep the genetic code consistent and replicable. Ready to quiz yourself with the content covered in this video? Check out the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet content made just for you.